think a lot of us guys are brought up in this society where we're taught an idealistic and a principalistic way of how the world works. This is how you should act. You should be polite. You should be respectful. You should be honest with your intentions. Let me tell you, fellas, that is complete bullshit. <clears throat> What's good, fellas? Reporting live from the fucking dungeon. And I just wanted to say, you know, speaking for a lot of us guys, a lot of us are used to getting fucked over. A lot of us become <clears throat> or are introverted. A lot of us are introverted. A lot of us are shy. A lot of us are kind of cold hearted and people can't really understand why. A lot of us can't even understand why ourselves are this way. And I think this is very important to understand if you really want to continue to pull forward. If you wanna continue, despite all the shit that's going on, to continue to progress, okay? Because if you don't come to terms with yourself and you don't come to terms with the world, then you are never going to understand things. You are never going to break free from the situations and the people that surround you. A lot of us are, are used to getting fucked over. We've got fucked over so many times and now we would rather not share our energy with another person. Maybe we even feel anxious in certain social situations. I myself can personally say in some social situations, I definitely do feel anxious. because I'm used to people stabbing me in the back. I'm used to getting fucked over. I'm used to being crossed over. I'm used to people talking shit behind my back. I'm used to being played. I think a lot of us guys are brought up in this society where we're taught an idealistic and a principalistic way of how the world works. This is how you should act. You should be polite. You should be respectful. You should be honest with your intentions. Let me tell you, fellas, that is complete bullshit. That's complete bullshit. You have to be extremely selective with your honesty. You have to be extremely selective with who you share your energy with. You got to be, because if you're not, you're going to get fucked over so many times that you become extremely cold hearted and you become disillusioned. And that is something I've personally gone through. And it is not a pleasant feeling, not a feeling that I would like any man to experience. So you have to be selective with who you are honest to. You have to be intelligent with that. We are taught to play by these rules. When the rules, when you play by the rules, you lose every time. <clears throat> you can't be honest with everybody. You got to be deceitful. You got to be selective. You can't let everybody in. You got to treat some people differently. You got to not take some people serious. And for a lot of us, what that's going to create is a certain level of introvertedness. And while you learn to adapt to that, while you learn to be comfortable with that, you might even feel anxious in social situations because you want to express yourself a certain way, but you know that you can't. You can't. Oh, Finn, just be yourself. Just be it. Be natural, man. Be cool. I can't. I can't because then I get fucked over and I get backstabbed and I've had it happen to me so many times that now I'm on alert. I know a lot of you guys experience the same thing. You're on alert. You're wary because you got fucked over by some bitch 
or you got fucked over by one of your friends. And now when you're in a social situation, you want to be yourself, but when you be yourself, they don't like it. When you be yourself, you reveal your true intentions and they use that against you. I just got through reading 48 Laws of Power. One of the things I've learned throughout reading that whole book is that life is a fucking game and you have to play the game whether you like it or not because everybody is playing the game. Everybody is deceitful. That's a tough pill to swallow and that's a pill not a lot of guys are ever gonna understand or swallow because they're so caught up in the fucking propaganda. They're so caught up in these ideas that their mom put on them, that their teacher put on them, that society put on them. And they operate from principles. A lot of guys want to say, oh, my girl's not like that. Oh, you got a fucking unicorn, bro. A lot of guys want to say, all oh, my friends aren't like that. Not yet. Not yet. Wait till shit goes south for you. Wait till you start struggling and then you try and voice it to your friends. Wait till you really start struggling. I'm not talking about half-ass struggling that a lot of you guys go through. I'm talking about real fucking struggle. The shit that eats away at your personality. The shit that brings you to a lower version of yourself. How many of your friends are really going to be there? How many of your guys' girlfriends are really going to be there? How many of your guys' family members are really going to be there for you? And then when you try and voice it to them, you try and let your emotions out because that's what we're taught to do is, man, we're taught to express our emotions. Oh, it's okay, fam. You can tell me. You can express it to me. You can be vulnerable to me. They turn it against you. Literally everything you had hoped was not true. Everything that you were trying, that they were trying to tell you was not true, was fucking true. And they did it themselves. You ain't even have to say shit. They just keep talking. You just, you just lay back and let people talk enough. They will incriminate themselves. You will see how full of shit they are. Finn, why are you so introverted? Well, because I'm selective with who I share my energy with because I don't like getting fucked over. That doesn't mean I'm gonna, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be a fucking loof. That doesn't mean I'm gonna live under a rock. Yeah, I'm still gonna get hurt sometimes, but you're a fucking fool if you let everybody into your life. If you just be honest with everybody, you got to treat people differently. You got to not take some people seriously. And for me, the transition into that, I, 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 nobody is born like this. Yeah, some people are by nature a little bit more introverted than others, but nobody is just straight introvert by nature. You got fucked over to feel that type of way. Now you gotta learn how to adapt to it. Now you gotta learn how to accept yourself. Now you gotta learn how to still draw boundaries, but be selective with who you let into your life. And at the start, that's gonna require an adjustment because it's gonna require you to act like a person that you're not used to acting like but our whole lives are performances, our whole lives are acts. 
believe it or not, we are all putting on an act. Whether you are confident, whether you are unconfident, it's all an act. Whether you are extroverted, whether you are introverted, it's all an act. So you're going to have to put on an act. If you're used to being somebody that's extroverted and you got fucked over or you express your feelings to somebody and you got fucked over. And no, I'm not just talking about females, guys. I'm talking about your friends. I'm talking about your family members. Nobody wants to hear your problems. That's the tough truth. And when you get fucked over and then you start adapting into this different type of person, it might make you feel a little anxious because you're not acting. You, you gotta think about shit. Should I really say that? Is this person really presenting to me who they are? Or are they putting on a front? Are they concealing their intentions? And the truth is, most people are hiding their true intentions. And then when you leave them be, you find out who they really are. I moved over here to Austin to get a change of environment. I moved over here to separate myself from a lot of the people in my life. Thinking that would do it. But the truth is, the people who you thought were closest to you are still gonna stab you in your back. You give yourself a little bit of distance and they will stab you in the fucking back. This game is ruthless, guys. This game is cutthroat. So as men, we gotta learn how to be selective with our energy. We gotta learn to be wary of other people. We gotta learn to conceal our intentions and deceive other people. It's not a bad thing because they do the same thing. But what's a bad thing is when you're told to be honest, you're told to be vulnerable, and then you put your problems out there into the world and people make fun of you people shit on you, people that claim they wanted to see you rise really wanted your downfall the whole time because with your rise, you put the fucking mirror on them and now they're looking at themselves, why is he surpassing me? And it becomes jealousy and people can't live with jealousy. That's the one fault no man will ever admit to is jealousy, is envy. There's a lot of faults man will admit to, jealousy is not one of them. As soon as you separate yourself, you start to see who people really are. A lot of you guys are gonna be introverted for a long time. I myself, I like to keep my feelings to myself because all my life I've experienced people fucking me over and I can't hold it with me forever, but what I can do is learn from it. It's a problem when we're told as men, let out your emotions. But then when we do it, we get toyed with. We get taken advantage of, people use it against you. As Soon as you start struggling and you put it out there, people take advantage of you. People stab you in the back. People are opportunistic. As soon as I tell my problems to the world on my YouTube, I got somebody in my life fucking with me. That's a horrible feeling. 
but it's all the more reinforcement that you must learn to deal with these things by yourself as a goddamn man. That's my message for you guys today. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Hit that like button. Apply for my coaching, please. Nah, not please, fuck that. Apply for my coaching. If you're a young man looking to get in shape, in the best shape of your life, I guarantee I can help you get results. And right now I'm taking on a couple clients for free. So if you are one of the next five people to apply using that link in the description, you will get onto my coaching program with a custom workout plan, all that shit for free, free. All right, guys, appreciate you watching the video this far.